Hochmeyer. I'm a freshman pitcher and will be a freshman again this year. And I'm here to show you some drills that I love and that I've learned throughout this year. And I think they'll be really great for pitchers and growing pitchers. So first, I do a big ball drill. If you have a big softball, that's great. I don't have a big softball. My pitching coach does have a big softball that I use, but my little next door neighbor has a small little soccer ball. It's about this big compared to a softball. And that's the first thing I use for spins. So here's the first thing I do. So I grip it the same way I would grip a softball. It obviously doesn't have seams. So then I work on where I'm gonna release my ball. So this for a curveball, I just make sure to keep my hand flat and stay along my plane and spin it off. Then if I'm working my rise ball, make sure to have my pinky leading and I'm spinning it up towards me. Spinning it up, spinning it up. And I mostly only use this big ball for my curve and my rise. But then I have this little handy dandy tool and it I got it from Carolyn Cavill, my pigeon coach at um, the Circle Fast Pitch. I recommend if you don't have a coach going to see her, she's pretty great. So it's a stick and a ball and you use it and you spin it. So as I did my big ball, first I'll spin my curve ball. Curve ball, ooh, that was messed up. But curve ball. Keep it close to your body and spin. Just like you're playing in a game. Then if I wanna to go to rise ball, I have it flat, hold it right here and rise ball spin up. Get my angle set, rise ball spin up. Rise ball spin up. Rise ball spin up. Then same thing for drop ball. I'm gonna get it here in my slot and roll over. Well, if you throw a peel, it will work the same way. Just, whew, just peel it and peel it. But I use rollover, so I'm here, flat, and then I roll it over to work on my drop ball. And if you do have a screw ball, I say just work this way and spin it. Same way you would throw your screw ball. Then my next one, baby ball. I mean, I don't have an actual baby ball to use. So I use my dog's little Petco ball. And I just work using my fingertips. So ball the top, curve ball. Just work on spinning it. Spin it to yourself. Spin it to yourself. Yourself. Then I'm gonna go to rise ball. Rise ball. Rise ball. Then I'll go drop ball. Drop ball. Drop ball. Drop ball. Then screw ball. Work my screw ball. That's the tiny ball. And lastly, I have a spinner. And with my spinner, I'll also work all my pitches. And it really just shows how you move. So my curve ball, I'll start here and I'll spin. And the object of this is to get it as flat as possible. So curve ball, curve ball, curve ball. That was not very good. Curve ball, curve ball. Then if I want to throw my drop, I'll hold it on my seam and I'll work rolling it over like this and it should spin that way, like this. Then rise ball, same thing. Completely under it, get under it, get under it. I know some people are taught to throw rise ball like this, backwards, and make sure you can throw it backwards and it spins the right way. And then screw ball, I would also use space ball, like this, this, and this. And then lastly, I use my regular old softball and I start spinning it curve ball, curve ball, curve ball, curve ball. Then I'll go to rise, rise ball, rise ball, rise ball. Then I'll go drop ball, drop ball, drop ball. And then screw ball. Screw ball. Screw ball. And that's all my drills I have for you. I have some longer drills. So if you want to 
see more drills that we do. Uh, Coach Penzo could give you my number and my name and I could help you out and give you some tips. But thank you and enjoy your quarantine and practice lots.